do you use your spectrum then? Well, it's all to do with the different frequencies we have and the way they act in different environments. For example, if the spectrum frequency is low, the signal transmitted by the mast will travel further in distance and further into buildings through walls. So it's great not just for rural areas, but also in cities where there tend to be lots of buildings. And high frequency? The higher the frequency, the more the amount of people will be able to use our network in that area and with a faster connection. Think back to the traffic analogy earlier, where you're stuck in a traffic jam because there are so many cars on the road. A mast which uses high frequency spectrum will be like a motorway with more lanes. That's why it's great for busy urban areas where lots of people are trying to get signal from the same mass at the same time. So why don't you just use high frequency spectrum everywhere? Well, as great as it is providing better signal to more people, it only travels a short distance, fading quickly and more easily blocked by things like buildings, trees, even bad weather. That's why it's not great in the countryside and better in places where we can build lots of masts close together, like in cities. I don't remember seeing lots of masts in cities. Ah, oh, well, if you look hard enough, you will, but they're not the kind of tall masts you'd see out of town. See, not only do these high traffic, high frequency masts have to be much closer together in cities, but visually, they also have to fit in with the way the buildings look. And that's why we use what's called small cell technology. It's like normal masts, but much smaller. How much smaller? Oh, I'd say about the size of a shoebox. So you've got to look very carefully for our masts dotted around the city, but they're definitely there. For example, you might spot one if you take a closer look at the top of phone boxes or tube station signs. And out of town, in the countryside, how do you make sure your customers get the best signal? OK, so we at O2 have been investing millions to bring 4G connectivity to as much of the countryside as possible. But there's always more to do. So we've joined forces with other mobile operators to share masts in rural areas under an agreement called the Shared Rural Network. And this is going to bring 4G to 95% of the UK by 2026. The deal aims to bring coverage to over a quarter of a million more households and offices and onto nearly 10,000 more miles of roads for drivers.